All right. So you're looking at Caponatus semi test ACS colony, and they've really come a long way. Uh, this is the second year of Adam, and uh, lots of cocoons, lots of larvae, and lots of new eggs from the queen. The queen's on the left side, she's kind of facing towards the camera. Um, there's one major worker in there, um, and there's another cocoon that looks like it might be another major, so very large it's in it's on the bottom of that pile right there in the front of the camera and uh, yeah they're they're coming along nicely they they don't eat they don't what I've noticed about this species is they don't require a lot of food necessarily like I'll give them one insect one good sized insect you know I threw an earwig in there the other day and I I make sure that I um, that I kill the insects that I feed them so there's unnecessary so there's no unnecessary uh, Injury to the ants, or or you know, could panic the queen or injure the queen. So I do that, and uh, just so you know, you might hear uh, uh, drive-ins, diners, and dives in the background playing on the TV. So I like that show. So um, and yeah, this colony's coming along great. It's uh, probably mm, there hasn't been any new workers yet. These are all brand new cocoons. So all these cocoons here, all these pupa are just from this month alone, so um, they, haven't, uh, they haven't come out. The pupa stage is the longest stage of an egg to an adult ant. It's uh, usually the larva stage is the fastest. Larger, the larva grow really quickly and then they pupate and spin a cocoon. Um, normally, uh, Formicinae, uh, which this Camponatus species or uh, this particular Caponata species belongs to, the family. All of them spin cocoons, pretty much. Um, there are a few that, um, they don't have any material around, the larvae don't have any material around, sometimes don't spin cocoons, like with Formica, uh, the Formica genus. I've noticed that if you have them in a glass tube that, and they don't have anything to, to spin against, like granules of sand or cotton, um, then they won't actually spin their cocoons. They need something to hold on to, kind of like a, kind of like a uh, leverage, if you will. Um, but uh, Camponatus seem to spin their cocoons no matter what. Uh, the larvae themselves. So, but uh, yeah, um, population is coming along pretty nice. And none of the and these ants these ants live a long time. Each individual workers live a long time. Um, these are her second generation workers, so the first generation workers have died already, but they're always the weakest and the smallest, so they're called Nantics. But uh, this colony is um, the second year, and it's, uh, yeah, look, it's starting to look good. So uh, that's all for now. I'm just gonna just wanted you guys to see that because this colony is. I don't know, it's one of my more successful colonies that I have right now. My other successful colony is my Fidole colony, which I'll probably film more than likely in the next few days, and I'll put that on, up on YouTube for you guys to check out. So, alright, there you have it. Alright guys, peace.